My name is Helga Rakel Rappstotir. I am a filmmaker from Iceland, I'm mainly focusing on creative documentaries, I guess. Worked in broad sections of filmmaking. Um, yes, and this documentary is called um, Spare Parts. Um, and it's about um, a guy and his family. And uh, he lives in an old farm that used to be a sheep farm, but is now just a farm of car wrecks. Yeah, so that's when he's, you may say he's a bit obsessed with wrecked cars. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of just, I don't know, the film just mediates the place. When you begin uh, making a film, you are fascinated with the subject, but also a little bit afraid. You know, it's normal. And then you have to put some work into getting to know the person, if it's not something that's personal to you or somebody you knew before. And, and um, so I had to put a lot of work into that. I like, you know, and I have this tactique, you, you, you turn up with your camera and you start chatting to people and, and, um, and they did not, I mean, I didn't even ask to go to the bathroom in their house the first two days I was there. I just, and they didn't invite me in for coffee or anything. And then slowly they started, you know, letting me use the lavatory and then <laughs> giving me some coffee. And, and then, uh, because I, I was like, mm, I mean, it's a very, it's a very far away place. So uh, I'm a mother of two and I have a lot of work in the capital as well. So, um, and they are, you know, not always at home. So I had to like, you know, and also in winter it snows a lot. So it's very difficult to get there. So I had to like, uh, at the end, I spent like five years making the film, and of course, the <coughs> um, returning always because I felt I needed some more. And, ah, I need one shot of this and one shot of that, and then I would drive like five, six hours to get that shot. And, <laughs> and at the end, they were like, I mean, now I'm really very, very fond of them, and they are my friends today, and I love dropping by and having a coffee. And at the end, when I was filming, uh, they were always like asking me, like, you know, you, you have to stay the night in our house and, 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 you know, go to the hot tub and, and have a beer and have a waffle and have, you know, whatever. They're very, yeah, they're my friends <laughs> today. <laughs> that was actually because I screened the film for them in the local cinema. And that was the most difficult screening for me ever, because I was really nervous that they would not invite me for coffee <laughs> after. But they, 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 they did, so yeah. <laughs> I made some films before and I still keep in touch with the people um, from those films as well. I think it's very, yes, it's, it's kind of unethical. I mean, it's normal, we have to continue with our lives, of course, we cannot always be there, but you kind of have to have, you know, it's better, you know. <laughs> I don't like to carry a camera on my shoulder. It's not my aesthetical way of thinking. I just, I think in still frames and then choreography. I wanted to become a dancer when I was younger. And I also studied um, theater and before I started making films. And so I've always, I kind of, you know, there's this square, you know, in the theater. And then also when you take a photograph and I just love exactly that, you know, and, and preferably with something happening in the frame, of course, <laughs> but um, I mean, it doesn't have to be something crazy. It, it can be something very still, but you know, slowly. Yeah, so I think, and also I think, um, like always having a tripod uh, mediated just this um, place very well, I think because it's a very isolated place. You kind of lose track of time there. There is no time, you know, it's like, yeah, it's very, it's a very calm place. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it's probably very silly, but I, because I come from there and I am quite a dramatic person, like emotionally. And, and uh, I love driving up there because kind of the landscape is so dramatic that it reflects on, you know, you can always, I love reflecting <laughs> while driving there and like getting inspired and, you know. So I kind of, for me, I, uh, and I know, I mean, it's maybe silly, but it's the way it is. If, just for me personally, even though people who watch the film don't realize it, I'm not sure. Maybe some people make the connection if they, you know, I don't know. But I, uh, I kind of felt that it's there. It's like emotional landscape. It's there, you know, underlying. I mean, there's always tension, you know, and, and somehow I felt maybe you can meet it a little bit, you know, in the landscape. And I also like, I, I try to film the landscape the same way as I film the cars. You know, it's very still, it's a specific something, something blowing in the wind, water, 
you know, sunset, whatever it is. So yeah, to keep maintain the same style. And and uh, we do too much of making landscape cheesy in Iceland because Iceland is landscape mostly. <laughs> and um, so I try to avoid that too, yeah. Um, I'm actually very fascinated with dedication and I um, I have great respect for it. Whatever you do, it doesn't matter if it's parenting or fixing cars or taking cars apart or making films or whatever, you know, as long as it's something that you really want to do and you're dedicated. And um, <clears throat> and I think also because I've got ADHD, ADHD, I don't remember, yeah, like uh, attention deficiency. So I am, um, that's why my respect for people who really can focus and be devoted is even greater. <laughs> But then uh, at the middle and uh, like far away into the filming, I realized that my obsession with him and making documentaries, it's the same as his. Uh, and I realized it and I, f I felt a little bit silly. I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, it was I, I didn't realize before. But yeah, because I was, of course, when you're pitching and stuff, you're always talking about this, you know, your characters and, and the story and so so there it was very much like his obsession you know that i was like telling people about and uh, yeah yeah it's true there is there is a great co a connection and i i actually didn't want to finish the film because i love being there just walking around the car cemetery with the camera <laughs> i keep going there just 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 to do nothing you know it's a wonderful place to do nothing and I th we do too little of doing nothing anyway, so it's, yeah. <laughs> I think, um, well, I've actually, it, it was running in the Icelandic cinemas uh, the whole summer. Um, I had a, a premiere uh, a year ago on a festival in Iceland, in Reykjavik. And then uh, there was a break in the cinemas until March. And then they screened it again. And it ran for the, just until end of August. And I was very surprised, to be honest. I, I wasn't expecting it. And, and people were turning up in the cinema, you know, during summertime <laughs> to watch a slow documentary, which is, you know. And um, so I've had very better reaction than I expected because it's, as you said, kind of poetic, but still there is something obviously there that people relate to. Um, it's just a normal person with some obsession or something, I don't know. And um, But I also know that there are people who are not happy that I made the film. They think I'm, I'm putting a focus on, on, on him and that is not right because they don't agree with with what he's doing and i i mean i'm just uh, i mean i can't go into that discussion that's you know uh, but um yeah I'm, i mean i think there will be debates probably the commenting on the you know social media is you know but that's fine you know i'm uh, you, you can't do anything about that so i just hope i'm just sad you know I just would love everybody to see it on the big screen like today because the cinema here is so good and the sound and the image and this color and sharpness, it was amazing. I wish everybody could see it like this, but then again, what can you do? It's going to be on TV and you know, it is what it is. Yeah.